Hi, this is Dr. Daniel Sigai, board certified dermatologist. A little different post today. Um, I have a product review here. Uh, I was given this product by Phone Care. This is a company that's based in California. Uh, during this COVID-19 pandemic, Clorox wipes are in high demand or in short supply, and it's very hard to go and find some. I went to Costco, and if you ask somebody for uh, where are the Clorox wipes, they almost chuckle like, <laughs> good luck finding that because during this time, where can you get them? Those little, the little small sizes that they only limit one per customer at Target. So that's a very common issue right now. So, you know, our routine for my wife and I, when we come into the house, my wife working in the hospital, she gets a Clorox wipe and wipes down her phone and her pager. And um, it's, a, it's a regular practice. We don't wanna bring any germs from the hospital, bacteria or viruses to our home where our little children are. And you know, our little kids, they're always putting things into their mouth. They're not always good about washing their hands for 20 seconds. So you have to keep a close eye on them. But right now I wanted to talk about this UV sterilizer. So supposedly this sterilizer kills 99% of bacteria and viruses. It is used, it uses UVC as its primary energy source to disinfect. Uh, ultraviolet wavelength is 253.7 nanometers, and I'll explain what that means uh, shortly. About eight minutes to sterilize your phone, anything that fits in here. They even say face masks, your keys, pagers. So I'm really excited to try this out. Um, comes in this box here. Very nice robot white color to the product. Seems like there are different color schemes you could do, uh, you could purchase. Open this up and see what's inside. Phone Care. So the company is Phone Care in California, a startup company. And they have told me that their gross profits will be donated to Compassion's Disaster Relief Program and that is to aid people in need during this COVID-19 pandemic. So that's a very nice thing. So uh, coming out of the box here, that's a nice little plastic sleeve here. Looks pretty nice, pretty gorgeous. I like that robot white look. Very modern, very sleek. Doesn't look like it'll get smudged by any fingerprints. Open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so looks like inside, oh, don't, cut, don't hit my fingers. Um, we got this energy cord here, user manual, it's a nice little cleaning cloth here, it's a little chamois, and we got this light source at the bottom, and it looks pretty deep, where I will see if I can fit my iPhone uh, 11 Pro Max in here, um, see if my wife's pager fits in here as well, because that would be great if she can come in, put her pager in there. Looks like you can definitely put uh, masks in here. So uh, I'm just opening this up now. I'm gonna try it out for the next week or two and then get back to you. Okay guys, so phone care. Aroma Droops Entrance. All right, so after consistent use of using Phone Care's UVC sterilizer, I give it a thumbs up. So here is the rundown of why I like it. I do like that there's three UVC bulbs to give 360 degrees of sterilization. I like that this is handy during a time where it's very hard to get disinfecting wipes at the Costco, the supermarket. 
so this really does help save us from um, using a ton of, you know, uh, uh, our Clorox wipes on a daily basis. This is really nice for our phones and our pagers. So as soon as my wife comes home, she can put her badge and her pager in here and close the lid and you're good to go. The only thing about this is that the pager holster does not fit, not allow the device to close fully. So you have to take it out of the holster to sterilize it, press the button and it'll start to sterilize for eight minutes. The holster though, it does, it, you could try to push it down to allow it to close, but there is a little bit of space. So my critique would be um, that I wish that this was a little deeper, okay? So just a little bit more of depth to it. Um, I did measure the dimensions and I'll put what I measured here, uh, which is very similar to what they have listed on their website. And the cavity, as you saw, is much better than the UV uh, C sterilizer I had before for a phone. So that's meant for just a phone. My iPhone 11 Max uh, will fit in that other one that's just meant for phones. Definitely will fit in here. But you know, this did not accommodate my Apple Watch very well with the straps on, so I had to take it apart to have it fit in here. Um, and then also uh, my sunglasses couldn't really fit either. It was always a little space there. Like to have um, a little bit more depth here. The nice thing is the price is good. You know, it's for $59.99. If you look on Amazon, a lot of the sterilizers are $79.99 and up. Um, the wait time, the eight minutes, doesn't really bother me. Just put it in, press the button, light turns red, walk away. Some of the uh, products on Amazon that are much more expensive, over a hundred bucks, are like three minute um, wait times. So that's pretty fast versus eight. But you know, in terms of the cost, just get the cheaper one and then you can, uh, and just wait a little longer, that's okay. The efficacy of this, I don't have any Petri dishes or lab um, access to prove that it does kill 99% of bacteria and viruses. Uh, but you know, it is approved by the U S EPA. That's, you can stuff them in here. Totally fine to sterilize your mask. Uh, it, it does not replace washing them. Uh, if there's anything that's physically dirty or, um, soiled, you want to have it in the washing machine, similar to hand washing Hand sanitizers, nice sanitizers. But if you have hands that are visibly soiled, can't replace hand washing, any kind of hand sanitizer. Going for the 20 seconds of hand washing, very important. Same for um, washing your uh, washing your mask in a, in a washing machine. If you can do a little drying action without having to shrink your mask, if you can throw it in the dryer, that also helps disinfect your mask as well. So critiques for this of a dropper area for aromatherapy, I don't think that's very necessary. Uh, instead, I, maybe I would have liked to have this maybe as like a phone charger where you wireless charging, put your phone on top, it charges. You know, it says aroma droops entrance. I'm a very, I'm a big stickler on uh, spelling. So if that can be changed, drops instead of droops or just take it out completely. Um, Cause it do, I do lose a little confidence in products if they have typos. The UVC outlet, uh, by looking at the energy outlet, it is 253.7 nanometers. That does fall within the UVC range, which is between 200 to 280 nanometers. And that is great. So real quick on the, if you want to go back to physics and such, the equation um, for having, for wavelength versus energy, the, we, I always talk about UVA, UVB wavelengths that can cause skin cancer, sun damage. UVC gets filtered out through the uh, atmosphere uh, that's a shorter wavelength, so it doesn't penetrate the atmosphere like UVA and UVB, but it does have a higher energy. UVC has a higher energy than UVA and UVB, uh, and that goes with shorter wavelengths, higher energy. So with a higher energy, it's very uh, antimicrobial. So that's what they're using with these three bulbs is to kill the uh, microbes in this enclosed environment. Thank you, Foam Care, for um, sending me this. I will definitely make good use of it. Uh, my final score for this will be a thumbs up and eight out of 10. It does have some room to work with, but minor fixes, you know, if you could increase the depth of the cavity uh, for sterilization, just a tad bit. Um, but in terms of value, I mean, this is a good price for what's out there on Amazon, at least. You know, when I look on Amazon, this is a good value. Very aesthetically pleasing. It doesn't take up a lot of room at the same time. But I think depth wise, if we can increase the depth, that would be great. I'll take care during this time and thanks for watching. Peace.